and welcome back to the Diplomacy Timing Window, where the rules are discussed and our opinions don't matter. My name is Kazadu. I'm Hungry Hippos. And I'm the Half Herd. Where have we been? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we're back. It's all right. It was a bit of a hiatus. We deserve a break, don't we? Um, yeah, I mean, it, if, little... if it was a break, it is, you were overworked. I had COVID. <laughs> Kaza is still in the, the tournament. Boy. Why are you even here, Kaza? Inside <laughs> my, job my situation going on right now. Right, right behind me for once. Tournament is fixed. <laughs> it's how Carne has his home system. Ah, oh, the devs. They're devious so in the ways. That game is, is absolutely bonkers. I think since round three, since uh, the Letnef. That the the, this final this is going crazy. Let's, I'm going to share the screen of this. This is a, this is a is, really fun final. It is so much fun. It, this Let's is see. like Twilight Imperium Entertainment at its best. I, I just there's so many things about this game I just love, yeah. and it's very close, right? If you look at the scores, um, if you want to pull it, the the new uh, play, what is it? Game info tab. Now. The game mm -hmm. info tab. Game info. L1 at eight. Yeah. Crown and just Infinity. got just got the crown. Yeah, uh, on their home system with eleven infantry. Well done. <laughs> so eight eight on L one. We got Necro at eight as well. Who uh, bot, bot is out. Uh, R.I.P. Let's let's uh, say a little prayer for our man. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, Barony. So not Barony. So um, Necro is that eight as well. Yeah, that's where I crashed my my fleet trying to take his home system. <laughs> he's looking, he's looking healthy. And then Let's we see. got Doc, the hero, yeah. Corne Smasher. Yeah, and Corne also at eight with Kaza at six. Looking at this silly map, there is not much going on up north. Oh, the, yeah. I mean, a lot of the the ghosts and and. Arboric fleets just got decimated in that Nestafar duel. And I mean, that was incredible. What were the odds of that, guys? Are you calculated that? No, somebody wrote it in the tournament chat on Discord. I think the space battle was about 40% uh, win chance for, for the ghosts. Not bad, not and bad. And the ground combat was about 25%. Oh, <laughs> yes. the, there's only one cool. explanation. Yeah, I 100% expect this game to end last round i never expected that neither the virus nor nor corny's uh arborek would pull out the win but yeah yeah that's incredible i want to i want to break our rules and start to predict who's gonna win oh we've been so good up until now no nah, no nah, it's <laughs> time to break the rules it's time this is if we're, we're in the last round it's so like three or four of you are on eight points. Kaz is on the phone call. I mean, sorry, on the podcast. <laughs> this is this is time to break our rules and just all right, all right. predictions. I mean, blame me if we get all the all of the hate. Oh, and I, and I just before we get into the predictions, just because I know Cornet is super bitter, we're gonna rub in the salt a little more. I, I love the nickname that came up in the in the private chats, Kaz, that you can't see, but but uh, Derek coined it the court the corn harvest. <laughs> I love it. This makes it so good because the Arboric. I love it. That was really good. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. So well, yeah, I mean Honestly, it's I, I, I really love his build. Like his tech is super fun. He is so fast for for being Arboric. It's actually pretty scary what he was able to do in this game. Gravity drive carry a two cruiser two. Yeah, pretty yeah. Pretty nifty. Some skippage going on there. Yeah. And I mean, if he could get his home system back, he'd be in the running, but it's that's a tough one. Interesting. Yeah. He'd have to lose the, the support. Oof. Yeah, so there you go. Probably uh that's good night, Horne. But between the the other four, looking pretty good. Ghost, you know, playing it safe with the leadership pick. I guess hoping that he can he can make it in that whoever it's going to take Imperial is not going to not going to uh, be able to finish before status phase. 
That makes sense. And, and, and I that guess one if he, if and banking, score two. Yeah. If he is banking on the on his secret. But I or, don't I mean, they know can use how he's going to get. For the he can six, do galvanize. Six tokens. Yeah, it sets you up for six galvanize. tokens and gives you the best initiative to score. So. Yeah. Galvanize, eh? It's eight. Oh, yeah, he does have he's got it. He's all got, of the he's influence. He's got a lot, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. So Ghost is not out of the running. I don't think Necro is either because... It's easier ne for them Necro, to it's that. Necro is just going to come down to initiative order, whatever is he's yeah. left, whatever card he's left with, because he's the last pick. Yeah. But he's, he, you know, he can score the six tokens pretty easily. Being Necro, it's not too difficult. L one, L one, push the the influence. One, two, three. Yeah, they, you would have to get all the influence and then just stop. <laughs> <laughs> but never, never discount, huh? Because he might win by just eliminating everybody, as is his uh, his mo. So you never know. <laughs> and win the game at eight VP with everyone eliminated. That would be interesting to see. Please go do that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and let's see. What? Well, how does Kaza win? Do we say how? Okay, I just, do I just don't. Well, I, I, I think. I think Kaza's going to give I, this I strategy don't. right now, right here, live <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to he's going to ask the devs for another uh, right. another 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 intrusion divine, into this game, divine intervention. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, great game. I'm really really happy with how the tournament shaped up in general. Uh, and again, thank you to all the participants. Um, couldn't have done it without you. And let's. Uh, you know, keep our eyes peeled. We'll see how this how this shapes out. Yes, thanks for the entertaining game so far. <laughs> we're trying. We're trying really hard. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, that's that's the tournament update. Yeah, I mean, with the tournament wrapping up, I I felt like it was a good time to to start the league. And first yeah. up, big shout out to my my wife for writing the script that set up the, the games in a way that no one plays anyone twice and has six games That's total. That, that was a big help to have that script. Yeah, and it worked and great, that, right? Like, yeah. yeah, with that we now have 42 games with 42 players that don't face each other twice. Amazing. And so far, stuff is progressing at a really good pace. Most games are in round two already. I think tomorrow is the deadline on the 7th. The recording is on the 6th of uh, May. So 7th is the deadline, quote unquote, for round one. And most games can do this. So yeah, only three games that I'm slightly worried about. So I've uh, obviously been a little out of it since you started the tournament. Sorry, the, yeah, was it the tournament? Was it, no, the league. We're calling, we're calling, we're it. calling it the league. We, yes. we renamed it the league, yeah. yeah. I was I was not feeling well during that time. Um, so with the league, how does uh, how are you operating with deadlines and stuff? Like what is what is the the motivating carrot and stick method that you're using? I mean, in the end, if one deadline is is missed, it's not a big deal. But I I'll poke them and annoy them a lot, I guess, <laughs> yeah. and suggest doing live sessions to get ahead for the for the slower games. I mean, in the end. We have time till end of August to finish all the games. And yeah, it's about four months to go. So it's, I, it's, will, I will be impressed if you can get six rounds of six in that amount of time. Yeah, but I like the format because like having all the games simultaneous async, right? It does make it less important that they all finish a all at the same time, right? Because you're 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 not delaying, you know, future games as much, right? You're only delaying, I guess, the one kind of the one final, final, yeah, that's based on the top rankings. Yeah, that's true. And Kaza, you and I switch spots here. You're you're administrating now, and I'm I'm participating. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, I'll say I'm pretty happy with how my games have shaped up so far. I got some nice fun picks in there. I got an Arboric pick in there and my Mentac pick and a Necro pick. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. How does, uh, 
Mentac play on the on the app these days. I haven't been able to take a game with them yet. Most of my games are still pretty early with them. I don't think I have a Mentac game that's in round three yet, so uh, I can't speak too much from experience yet. I got a mid to late game Mentac game in a four, on a four player table against the virus, and it's kind of fun to steal back <laughs> the, the trade goods they get from the. I don't know what is the first tech, the the first faction tech salvage, called? Salvage, off. salvage operations. Like they attack me, oh, I get brutal. a trade good. I get a trade good from him. <laughs> That's hilarious. But yeah, silly necro nice. taking salvage ops. But yeah, I honestly really miss the second role for ambush. It feels a bit. I mean, it's probably not that detrimental to the faction, but it's just. Like, oh, why did I bring a second a second cruiser here? Why did I bother bringing the destroyer? That doesn't help at all. Yeah, well, you and I owe, uh, owe a debate to everyone on this one. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like they're not the strongest faction, and it would not have made them overpowered to get the second roll. Get the second roll. Yeah, that's fair. Do you think second roll, both of them being destroy? Because, I mean, I think that the issue is right now is just it. It seems like there's a bit of rework that would need to be done that's significant enough that they're just they haven't prioritized it yet, right? They... I, I think in the end I kind of birthed the idea of making a sub like of creating a sub window for exactly that that's closed on its own, that's not part of the but I think it's just the not beginning as easy of combat as, window. as we I mean, make it sound absolutely, right? I think, but I, I, think, think... I think they fundamentally the way nest my understanding when i speak you know to the devs on occasion is the the way that they've coded nested timing windows would require a significant rework so it's not yeah, just yeah. creating yeah. something new i think they would have to fundamentally change the way they've created timing windows in order to to do this now i could be speaking yes, completely it could out be, of my, but, uh, i mean behind I, on this but <laughs> that's kind of my like this understanding even with destroy, I would be absolutely okay with it. But eventually, I think they'll figure out a way to just implement yes. those things. Rules as written, it might be down the line. They it's will. definitely not a priority. Yeah. But uh, I mean, the one saving grace for all these uh, pre-combat hits is that their abilities that resolve immediately. Mm -hmm. So you can't counter the ability with uh, a sabotage. So that would lead me to believe that it could create a closed off sub window for that stuff. If that makes sense. But yeah, who knows that, how this that, is coded and if that makes sense, yeah. how long it takes. And if but, it's but, you, but you're not. talking, you're talking about it as, as it being a destroy, because obviously if it's an assigned hit, then, then that's not the case. I mean, just saying, for now, if it's to destroy, yeah. I would take it absolutely. If it's somehow two hits and it works as with the game down the line, that's slightly weaker, mm. but it's as written, so no complaints there. Yeah. And that's fair. Uh, I guess we'll see how, how, how it comes, if there's maybe some data that gets collected if enough Mentac games finish in the next few months, and maybe they'll add that second roll for you, just for you. Called the Kaza <laughs> or do something like my idea also roll do two dice but only go up to maximum of one hit or one destroy yeah so that's not a bad idea the ability to the it always feels like with mentech you always want to have two ships in a system yeah but here on the app one is good enough and that's kind of to not get a bonus from the second ship feels kind of odd yeah but yeah it's not a big deal they're fun um, to play. So, um, the ability to steal trade goods is amazing. Oh, and that's yeah. basically what they're there for. And then you that, double the trade good value too, which is absolutely insane. Yeah. Pillage, salvage ops, and mirror computing is what Mentac is about. Ambush is, is an all right ability, but I think, yeah, we definitely agree that it's all about the trade goods. They're pirates. And they Cruiser love gold two. blooms. Cruiser and 2. Cruiser 2. Yeah. They, they love it all. I'm a little disappointed. I thought we were going to clash 
heads a little more there and you came out super reasonable i mean i'm, I'm super disappointed too <laughs> I, I without the controversy <laughs> the league is rigged in general i'm not a pirate <laughs> fan i guess I, I i i like them in pok but i'm not that big on them in the base game so uh, this isn't something we talked about before and i'm okay maybe we talk about it on a different episode and um yeah, but bring up a mentac sheet Let me uh, well it, it is somewhat related to kind of a new faction is uh twilight imperium is coming out with a 25th faction the council Calaris, and a new game oh, mode, yes. genesis uh and we, we can get into it some other time perhaps but um you know what i think some of um if you, what mentac is what it was one of the factions that can be caught compromised within the council Calaris, uh, which we can talk about again, I said later, but it is, it is really cool that they're coming out of the 25th faction and a new game mode. I haven't read too much about them. Does anybody know? Like, I, I did read a bit about the game mode, though I'm still, again, a little fuzzy on. So in short, I mean, we can do some research, but in short, the game mode effectively is like a storytelling game mode, kind of like D and D. Is it is it going to be like D and D, like like a role, like a dice? It's role, a role, role playing, playing game story yeah. mode with with the factions and stuff like that. With, where with the Twilight Imperium lore. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. But then the the faction themselves, the twenty fifth faction, can be played, you know, the In normal the POK yes. mode as well. So it's, yes. it, there's a lot of flexibility there for people who like to have a role playing component. Uh, if there isn't already enough components and game styles and <laughs> gameplay in Twilight Imperium 4, why not make role playing part of it too? <laughs> well, I, I, Twilight Imperium has so much lore, and like really until now, it feels kind of wasted, right? They haven't really done much with it. There's so much. So You're right. I think I think yeah. it is. I think it is great to see like some of this new content coming out for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking and forward to it. We'll see more. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun and we can probably break it down in another episode. But I brought it up just because Mentac is like a, is a small component faction within the council. I didn't really read into the council yet. The mostly was very happy with the updates to, to the extra hero and the, the yin because I just played a yin game. Mm -hmm. And while it's funny to have 150 infantry on the board, uh, I really like the ability to just invade random planets. And now that they kind of made the other, the hero and the, no, the commander and the agent a bit different too, making tech more accessible and the agent basically useful for anything that dies, I, I really, really want to try them again. Completely different play style from, from the non Omega Yin. Yes. By the way, speaking of Yin. Speaking of having, yeah. <laughs> hey, Kaza, apparently you have the inside with the devs given that you're cheating on the game in the tournament. When is Yin coming out? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I, I can can say that there's definitely some pixel stuff coming up again. Cool. But that's Ooh, all that I can. Ye old pixel shop. <laughs> At Etsy. At Etsy. <laughs> no, I, I designed the planet symbols and the text symbols. That's fantastic. So I, I was really slow to up, yeah, I was really slow to upgrade my user interface to the pixel art. And um you know, oh, was stupid that for was like the first thing I did. Yeah, I, I, mean, it's, <laughs> I love it. It's, been, it's, been, it's it's not been the best of times for me of late. So uh, <laughs> it is there but, and that's really cool. Um talking, but I also noticed that there's another kind of UI uh, update as well that happened recently. That is so amazing. To have now the yes. col player color, player name, and the faction symbol all whenever that player is mentioned. Do you, do you still have the uh, the tournament game open? Do you want to share that? Um, I do not have it open. Oh, but you bring any game though. I suppose I could just give me a moment. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. this podcast is brought to you by Ye Old Pixel Shop. All right, this is let's see. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, here we go. 
Yes, I, I do love this uh, update, especially the log, I think, is just amazing. Oh, oh I'm actually writing notes. notes I'm not going to share anymore. So. I'll share those notes. <laughs> All right, here we go. So title, um, we have the logo, people's, the speaker token is now yes. an actual speaker token. Am I the only one? Speaker, was, great. Am I the only one who's sad about that? <laughs> I was actually looking for that speaker icon for a little bit, specifically on this game. And I was like, wait, oh, there's this. I was also confused the first time I was searching for the old speaker symbol and just couldn't find it. And then I was like, ah, that happened. <laughs> and uh, you want to open the log there? I love the log updates. Look at that. Yeah, yes. that's so good. Oh, These are good. These this are great. Good. Colors, symbols. Yeah. So is that you got the those those little, is that uh, pixel art? It looks like pixel art. Yeah, if, if yes, pixel the, art the, exists, pixel it art, is yeah. that's what's happening yes. on my on my user interface. Yeah. And I actually might as well just go here for the, the pixel arts. This is what there I go. This is where it really yes. shines. Uh, here I am you showing my the, mediocrity the in this game. <laughs> I'm always in I the middle to... here behind Fingolfin yeah. makes sense. Kaza makes sense. Well, that game probably will not finish. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, there's a few here where I'm just praying. Let's let it die. It's okay. No, this game will be done soon. Again, behind our... Fingolfin mm -hmm. and Kaza, not, you know, makes sense. Kaza, so... you can't let Fingolfin win that game, okay? He's like, I think he's the closest to the 25 wins. We can't I, I let can't him do, do it. I can't do anything about it. Ah. I'm so slow. <laughs> Everybody's blocking my way. I mean, I could have done something about it, but you ended up freaking, what do you, here, what, what was the card that you played on me again? It was signal jamming. I probably, oh, yeah, should have, oh, yeah. I probably should have talked to you. But I would have sabotaged scared. that. Yeah, why didn't anyone just sabotage scared. this? Is signal jamming my entire freaking fleet here. And I'm yeah, just. What does the fleet do? Exactly. It what me. can it do to stop someone? <laughs> There's a ship in between. There's a ship I, in I between. I mean, that's not that hard for me to deal with. It's over here. I could just get. It's, it's not that hard. Yeah. Also, you know, I could Hafford realizes that he needs to get the hell out of the way. Yeah. Talk to him. No problem. No problem. Too late now. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sore just at all. So scared to either just take my home system or the, the holy planet. Oh, good times. Anyway, this is this is great podcast topics here, guys. This is very good. <laughs> that because we talked about the council, I really should check out that symbol and get that done too. Yeah, that's. I think it's a it's a cool faction. We have a, a POK brought out a lot of kind of unique super fighty factions and other unique mm -hmm. super fighty factions. Um, <laughs> so why not, why not have a single faction come out that isn't super fighty? Why not? Yeah, not all of them are fighty. The... Uh, like, there's only one that isn't super fighty. Only one out of theory? all POK. And that's Ooh, the... Okay. Who would you say? Empyrean. Empyrean, yeah. They're the friendly ones, right? That's the alliance. Uh, yeah, yes. The alliance They're the alliance. only ones. Everyone else is super fighty. Yeah. And they see, they, they even it out by being like the most like friendly faction of all time. They're I'm balanced. just enabling everybody to fight. Yeah, they're exactly. So <laughs> all right. <sighs> It's been nice reminiscing yeah, randomly. Yeah, nice. Absolutely, yeah. Because I think also, you wanted to just, yeah, you wanted to mention the one last thing there. Yes. The um, for our dear Apple users, uh, there now is a uh, an option to get Discord notifications. Um, Al Verges um, created a server where you can basically subscribe with your games. And whenever it's your turn, it will notify you. That's by awesome. the Discord server. Genius. What a hero! It's the setup is not so straightforward yet, I think, but he's still working on that. 
Uh, who who is it nice. again? Who is it again? We have to Al shut Al, Al, Ver Al Virgis. Al Virgis. Well done. I think we should put the. Or I should ask him if we can put the the link in the in the description here. Otherwise, I pinned it yeah. in the tournament. Yeah, we'll tournament, we'll put it below this uh, video so, so we can uh, we'll put it with this video in the comments as well so people can access. It. I mean, so far it's only like twelve people on it, but there's already tons of notifications coming in by the bot. Cool. And especially for those Apple users that don't have the push notification option, this is definitely a Super good alternative to, to keep up to date with your games. Conversely, Apple could just make it easier to develop on their platform, but... Or people could just not buy Apple products. That, that too. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, There was two ways in which I could have gone. I wanted to go that way, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, they might come after me now. <laughs> Carry on the show without me, boys. Yes, the Apple police. No, but that, that thing's amazing. I mean, once you have, you have to set it up for each and every game, and then you have a category how you want to be notified at which points. So either you say if the log changes, which is like the ridiculous every time a notification, or you could do whenever it's your turn, you get a notification. I, I did not realize Discord do... had that functionality. Discord bots are amazing. Discord bots, yeah. It's the, it's the future. They're, they're going to be Skynet. <laughs> I mean, there's also another shout out. There's this uh, play by Discord server now, where they basically created the, a bot that takes care of the map and all the game statistics for you. And you do everything basically by chat. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm moving mm -hmm. my ships from here to there. And then you basically log every action with the bot. That just like okay, that costs me a token. Place the token there. Move those ships from here to here. It's basically play by forum, but way more sophisticated with the bot. Interesting. It just sets up the map for you. It just creates the map for you. It's it's pretty bonkers. What will they think of next? Well, it's been really nice chatting with you guys again after so long. I'm not yep. going to say good luck to Kaza. Good luck. Well, because because it's rigged. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's it's unnecessary. You don't need to say what luck, what luck. It's just yeah. Uh, everything's fine. <laughs> well, right. I think we have spent enough time stalling in this timing window, so let's hit that pass button and keep the game moving.